People are going overboard with the goddamn thumb pad on the 3DS. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to make a video about this initially because I saw a few pictures about this earlier in the day. Because I'm today, I'm waiting for my damn copy of Smash Brothers 3DS digitally. So I'm doing nothing at home right now. But someone makes me alert, aware to the fact that there are a lot of instances of people destroying their thumb pads in their 3DSs. A shout out goes to Ravitena, Ravitendo who um, alerted me to this and showed me the Kotaku article which compiled all the people's um, 3DS is breaking. Now, once again, I gotta tell you guys, I am extremely concerned about this because the fact of the matter is the 3DS has a thumb pad, right? And the thumb pad, usually, I mean, it wouldn't really see too much abuse in certain games because, you know, they don't require as much input as Super Smash Brothers, but Super Smash Brothers requires a shit ton of input, so you guys gotta be careful. And you're going to see why, because we're going to look at the Kotaku article right now, and once again, shout out to Kotaku for compiling this information together, making it easy to access. But um, there's people that are destroying their thumb pads all because they're playing Super Smash Bros. Now, this is happening more often to older, the first model of the 3DS rather than the 3DS XL, but it's happening on the XL in some cases. And this is not just like a few sporadic moments here and there. Like, there's a lot of pictures of this shit happening. Like, um, for example, it's crazy, man. Look at this. It's like a regular thing. Either the rubbery part comes off and it leaves just a black nub um, underneath, or the entire goddamn thing comes off, like this, guys. It's ridiculously crazy, man. And it's a little bit worrisome for me in particular because, you know, of course, who doesn't, you know, who, who wants to lose money on an investment? But mine is even more important because I have a capture card 3DS, and if the thumb pad on this breaks, that's $500 going right there. I don't know if it can be repaired or anything like that. And you know, there's two 3DSs I got, the Jap Japanese and English ones, so you know, I, I really want to be careful with this. That's why I'm making this video for you guys to, wear, to raise some awareness, because this is actually a very disturbing problem to see. I don't know if it's because the 3DS is falsy in itself, or maybe it's because people are going too hard, or most likely. It's a culmination of the two factors. So you know, take into account that the 3DS's thumb pad is not as resilient as a as a um, joystick on a controller. It's not going to have that same level of bounce back ability, <laughs> resiliency as a as a controller would. So you got oh my fucking god! Look at this. Please be careful. It's not. It's, it can't take the abuse that a controller can. It really can't. So you have to be extremely careful. And it's way more expensive to repair. I mean, I don't even know if something like this can be repaired. Maybe one like that where the rubber comes off, but I, I doubt that the one where the whole damn stick comes off is... Yeah, that just looks so bad, man. I I don't know, man. You guys gotta really be careful with this shit. And, you know, hopefully this raises some awareness because I, I even caught myself at some times when I was playing Smash, you know, trying to do some combos with the Villager. Combos, but um, I was trying to do some follow-ups with the Villager. And, you know, I'm just going really hard. And, you know, I realized, oh shit, I'm actually being kind of hard on the thumb pad. Remember, you don't necessarily have to be too forceful on it. You, you can you can put in light movements and it'll still do the things that you need to. So you just kind of be you just gotta be aware of it because sometimes when you're in the heat of a battle, you kind of just oh man, you know you press that thing as hard as you can, and then you wind up like this motherfucker with his shit totally off. Like look at this, this is this is this is really fucking scary. I mean I'm disturbed by it only because you know I don't want it happening to me, and it just goes to show you that the 3ds is not really that resilient. I think this is actually kind of a problem. I hope that. I hope Nintendo has like an insurance policy or something, or not, well, a warranty policy or something, because this is happening to a lot of people, man. This is, wow. Oh. Look at that. It, it's for him. It's split into two parts. Like that's, wow. Oh. And on the old 3DS, the black part stays there while the rubber goes off. Try playing Smash Brothers on a control stick that has no rubber, no resistance, no kind of bounce back, nothing like that. It's crazy. You, you don't want this to happen. So please. Be careful when using your 3DSs because this looks like it's this looks like it's something that can happen to anybody. But this many pictures floating around the internet, this can happen to anybody. Even though the XLs are a bit more like, for, according to Kotaku, Kotaku said the XLs they don't come off on the XLs as much as they come off on the regular. But that's probably only because the regulars are older than the XLs. So you know, naturally those are going to be more decrepit. You know what I mean? Even though they're not that much older, but still, yeah. So. You know, just just make sure you catch yourself if you are using that stick too difficult. I mean, if you're using it too hard, too forceful, because you don't want your 3DS to get fucked up like that. This is actually kind of messed up. Remember, don't go Ogre Drive. Just just keep it steady. All right. Anyways, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. And um, what, if this happened to you, let me know. I mean, oh man.
this is this is really fucking scary but anyways be careful with your 3ds's and i'll talk to you in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one